A big red cargo ship fitted with steel and composite glass wings has set sail on its maiden voyage from China to Brazil. The Pixis Ocean, a 750-foot-long bulk carrier, is the first vessel to deploy wind wings, which can stand up to 123 feet tall and are made from the same durable material as wind turbines. The prototype devices could potentially curb the ship's diesel fuel consumption and its resulting greenhouse gas emissions by roughly one-fifth. Cargill announced the voyage after the Pixis Ocean completed its first leg across the South China Sea from Shanghai to Singapore. Cargill is chartering the vessel, which can carry up to 81,000 metric tons of grain, corn and other food products around the world. The large rectangular wings generally work like traditional canvas sails, by harnessing wind to propel the vessel and lessen the workload of the diesel engines. But instead of sailors raising or furling sails, the rigid wind wings mechanically rotate and spin. They also fold down while at port and lift back up while at sea. Wind power is making a comeback within the global shipping industry as companies look to reduce and replace their use of dirty diesel fuel. This week's voyage is the latest example of shipowners and multinational customers retrofitting vessels with high-tech versions of an ancient clean energy technology, including Air Seas towing kite, Norse Power's spinning rotor sails and Mitsui OSK Line's telescoping hard sail. Bulk carriers, container ships and other ocean-going vessels burn hundreds of millions of tons of fossil fuels every year to carry trillions of dollars worth of goods across the ocean. As a result, international shipping contributes around 3% of the world's annual greenhouse gas emissions, a figure that's expected to climb as more oil-guzzling ships make more voyages in the coming years. Last month, the United Nations agency that governs global shipping set stricter climate goals for the industry. Members of the International Maritime Organization called for curbing emissions by at least 70% by 2040, and for reaching net zero emissions by or around 2050. Countries also agreed to have 5 to 10% of shipping's energy use come from zero or near zero emissions fuels and technologies by 2030. While critics say the new rules don't go far enough to curb the industry's contribution to climate change, virtually everyone agrees that decarbonizing shipping is a monumental challenge. Switching to alternative fuels, including methanol or ammonia made from renewable energy, will require updating ship designs, building new fuel supply systems and a litany of logistical and financial hurdles. Harnessing wind power could allow existing ships to begin ditching diesel without appending existing operations. The Pixis Ocean, a six-year-old vessel owned by Mitsubishi Corporation, was recently equipped with wing sails at a shipyard in Shanghai. British firm Bar Technologies designed the wind wings, which the Norwegian company Yara Marine Technologies manufactured. A variety of factors will determine how much fuel ships with wind wings can actually save, and thus how much emissions they'll avoid releasing, including where the vessels are sailing, how many devices can fit on their deck, and how favorable the wind and weather conditions are. Bar estimates that, on an average global route, the technology can save 1.5 metric tons of oil-based fuel per wind wing per day. Cargill and Bar Technologies will closely monitor the Windwing's performance over the coming months to improve design, operation, and performance. The goal of the trial voyage is to inform the scale-up and adoption of wing sales across Cargill's fleet of bulker carriers and the broader industry. Bar Technologies is already planning to build hundreds of its sails over the next four years, and is also researching to build new vessels with different hydrodynamic forms, 